finally some good news today. Due to the spirit of the Javari, the region in the Brazilian Amazon where is the largest enclave of uncontacted tribes left on earth, Univaja, Univaja which is the Javadi Defense Association and the good folks at Survival International and shout out especially to Stephen Corey and Fiona Watson that these missionaries who were intent on going in this region with their new helicopter special for this to infect the tribes with the pandemic of COVID-19 and use that as a way to evangelize them have been blocked by a Brazilian judge. And this is a huge victory for us all because I know from living with these people who are literally us exactly in intelligence and everything, except they're naked, their emotions, their love, their feeling, their fears, their violence, are all us just naked as they are, are the ones who still possess in a large amount the spirit of the wild and free. We all have that spirit inside us in smaller doses, and that's what keeps us alive and going. That's that thing in us that gets us through pandemics and these things. And here is its strength left for us on earth, and it's something we much must defend at any cost. But don't make a mistake in this great day, which I am so happy that these missionaries will give up because they've been for 50, more than actually 60 years, working hard to fulfill their prophecy, which was originally the prophecy of 2,000 tribes, which is they've changed because they said God made a miscalculation, so now they've changed it to 3,000 tribes. Um, they will continue, and what they will do right now, they will try to continue changing the law of Bolsonaro to get around this judge, and at the same time, they will move to the other enclave where there are uncontacted tribes, which is the region I spent a great deal of time in, and that's Yanomamilandia. That's the border region between Brazil and Venezuela where the Yanomami people live, and there are still very remote and uncontacted tribes there. Now, Bolsonaro says, Oh, how are these people getting sick? Well, a young man, a young Yanomami man, died of coronavirus just this week. And it was either brought in by the missionaries or the gold miners who have brought in every disease to the Yanomami people who really did not know disease like this in epidemics before these two groups came. Then Bolsonaro goes, well, the gold miners are illegal. They just went in there. No, they didn't. I know this region. You just don't walk in there. You need a helicopter to get in there and a helicopter to get the gold out. So this is a big lie. There is something going on to destroy the indigenous people. And these indigenous people in the Amazon are literally the front line of defense for all of us with epidemics and pandemics because the rainforest is the only landmass where new life forms and viruses are born constantly and old ones hide deep in the forest in vectors and the forest itself is what buffers us from them coming out. So by tearing down the forest, why we're fighting the COVID-19 epidemic, pandemic, Bolsonaro's going to let loose on us dozens of pan a storm of continuous pandemics that are going to come out if we continue the way we're acting, cutting down the forest. So we can't give up. We got to take this great victory and learn the lesson we learned from these people that Survival International, Uni, Vaja, and the people there, they didn't wait a second to fight the epidemic and to keep the missionaries out. They jumped on it immediately. And this is the lesson to dealing with epidemics is that you must get on them immediately. Something we didn't do, that's the lesson we need to learn from this. The minute you get a tickle in your throat, you need to kill that tickle, well, you need to clear that tickle up so it doesn't spread into your body. When you have a parasite in your garden, you have to isolate it and get rid of it or 
it's gonna very rapidly, we're talking if you wait a day or two, it's over. And we waited a lot longer than that. It spreads that quick. And this is a lesson we've learned from, that you do succeed if you really jump on it right away. And so we've learned a great lesson here and we've had a great victory today. Let's go forward to become the humanity that starts to understand once again how to work with nature, how to go with Mother Nature instead of constantly believing we're going to outsmart her or we're going to be smarter than her. She's the one that's leading all these things. And in the nature of that, um, even dealing with pandemics, it's far smarter to work with nature because you'll see with the changing of the seasons, it's going to have effect. This is all part of nature. So I say to you today before I really celebrate and have a shot of mezcal from Oaxaca to do it, ni because the gods give to those who give to the gods.